last drive of the first half, the first drive of the second half. Two completely different drives, but probably just flips the whole momentum. Yeah, 100%. Um, you know, we always talk about doubling up, you know. Uh, whenever you defer, the goal is to always get that last possession in the second half, score, get the ball, and score again. Um, however you get points, you know. Um, and we were able to do that and help our defense have a cushion. And that changes, as we've talked about a lot, you know, when the score is what it is, it changes some calls that they can make and some things they can try and things they can do. And uh, it just helps the team. So um, it was huge, 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 huge that we could get points on both of those drives. And we've talked about coming out in the second half better. Um, and I think both times we came out in the second half, the first two drives um, were points. And then we were four in four minute after that, which is awesome. That's what he told me. Um, I said, wow, I thought you were the best receiver at Clemson. You, I'm, sure, I'm sure you would have had a couple more than that. But uh, no, we, uh, we have a lot of fun. That's, he's one of my best friends. It's, uh, you know, we've you know, spent a lot of time together. Um, you know, we're very, very close, play a lot of games together, all those kind of things. But uh, we also work very, very hard at what we do. We're always in communication um, today, something that we worked on. The play he got hurt on is the same play he converted a third down for us on. Uh, not the same play, same kind of look, same kind of deal, uh, and just minor tweaks here and there. Him and I just getting better together. We're able to catch the ball, just get the first, and he's still with us, right? Um, and those are those are huge things. But the, obviously, the chemistry is there. Uh, you know that. There's no denying that. The 56-yard scoring play. What, what, what did what did you see? He just all of a sudden just popped through and he's gone. And it's so funny. You don't see that a lot in the NFL. You know, uh, guys that catch it across the middle and then they're. They outrun some people. And do it. I was like, out of all people, like he's the one that always seems to do it, you know. Uh, but I, you know, I met I met uh, Coach Sweeney, you know, Dabo Sweeney. Uh, he was in New York, and I met him, and he just laughed, and he's like, he's like, he, you don't understand sometimes some of the things he does, but he just continues to impress you and continues to do it. Um, and I'd have to say, Coach Sweeney was right on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, it was, it was a great call, you know, great design. Um, and when I came around the corner, uh, obviously I went through my progression and I was like, oh, shoot, I can run it in, you know. And so I just took off and waited. If, you know, 33 came for me, I'd dump it over the top. And if not, I ran it in. Um, I, I would like to think that I, as NFL quarterback, was placing the ball to someone directly so I don't get fined. But I saw someone up there and we, I hit who I wanted to hit. So hopefully that helps. You're still alive for, for, for the playoffs. Yeah, right? we are. All five things that had to happen happened yeah. to that. Can you just speak to like where you are as a team? Yeah, I mean, uh, we're in the middle of our process. <laughs> when, you were on, when you were running, Derek, and you saw the pylon, mm -hmm. what went through your mind? Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. I mean, yeah. You know, Yeah, I won't. I'm not honestly. I don't want what went through my mind to get out there and coach to read it. Uh, let's just say the thought was to protect the football and make sure we were in. But I had a crazy thought, which maybe I'll share with you another time. But it was it was good. You know, another, another, go I was gonna go back to Hunter. He had like five catches on third down. Yeah. What makes him so hard to stop? You think? What makes him so tough? Like, situations? Well, you know, it, teams give us certain looks, and coach does a great job designing plays for different looks to where. Uh, today, those balls just happen to go to him. Like, if it's a different coverage, different, the ball would go to Waller, or the ball would go to Tyrell, or Zay, you know. Um, you know, it, it, just the way Coach, you know, does this offense, um, and the more reps you get at it, you're just like, it, you can find it quicker, if that makes sense, you know. Um, I can get through the progressions faster this year and things like that. So um, it's honestly like, you know, it's funny. Like, he'll have a whole bunch of catches on third down, and Teams will be like, all right, we got to stop him. But then the ball goes somewhere else. They're like, well, we stopped him. You know, it's because the way coach designs these plays, it's, it's awesome. We have a lot of resiliency going on right now. Yeah. You have to build losing guys left and right. Yeah. Um, to, play, to, to rally the way that you guys did today, how important that is for the process that you're talking about. I really hope that the message, and I, and I mean this with everything in me. I don't really say, do these same things a lot. I really hope the message is uh, uh, that the, that's the culture that we have now. Everything we've been through, let's not sugarcoat. We've been through a lot of crap, right? Um, and, and it is what it is. Nobody cares at the end of the day, but we have, right? And to say that we're still playing week 17 for something, like that's, that's unbelievable. Like that, that's really a good thing because I've been on teams in the past where we, we were in those moments, we lose a couple games in a row and like, oh, no, you know, this team never did that. Like to come here and to beat these guys twice this year, that's, like, that's not easy. You know, they, 
they had their full defense out there. You know, they, they're completely healthy, and they, our guys are still being able to, you know, make plays and do things like that. And uh, I hope that that's the message. Like, really what we've been through, what our team has been able to accomplish. Like, no one thought we could do that. Let's be honest. No one thought we'd play week 17 for the playoffs. Let's just keep it real. Oh man, you know, we, we talk about the Waller factor all the time. I let Coach talk about that a little bit. But, you know, Waller, uh, <laughs> the, the first day I threw him a ball and I threw it 10 yards behind him, I was like, that's not a tight end. <laughs> you know, like, tight ends don't run that fast, right? And the way that he's not just an uberly talented guy, there's a lot of those in the NFL. He is our hardest worker. He, on the practice field, consistently has the best practice habits. Uh, of anybody I've ever seen, um, and it's every day. You know, every time we ha him and I do a little drill to start practice together to make sure our chemistry and all that kind of stuff and fundamentals are right. And uh, after a few weeks, I said I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop reminding him. And every single time he showed up, you know what I'm saying? Like that, I've done that before, and it doesn't always work that way. And he shows up every time. I didn't need to tell him anymore. It's because that's what we do. And. Uh, coach has done a great job of laying the foundation of the culture of our team, and that's how we do things. And um, again, to be where we're at, uh, a lot of that uh, is in credit to Darren Waller. Jalen have been here almost as long as you, and they've had to kind of sit back and step aside while Josh yeah. Jacobs carries the load. And yeah. Say about what they were able to do today with Jalen with the catch on the fourth down and Yonder running the ball. And yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I always say that we have three starting running backs, you know. Uh, you know, even when Marshawn was here, you know, we had DeAndre and Jalen. You know, I was like, yeah, we, we still have three starting running backs. So these guys, uh, we saw Jalen also, you know, punch it up in there inside. You know, we, you know we, he can do all of those things. Same thing with DeAndre. The way DeAndre ran today, like against that defense, how physical he ran, uh, you know, didn't cough the ball up and things like that. There was a couple times, too, where I've seen hits coming from the side or from the blind sides, and usually those are easy fumbles, you know, and DeAndre just – He's so strong, like that thing did not come out. And so uh, those guys are, are great backs. Um, I love those guys more so for what they do in pass protection. Um, but they're, they're really good at what they do. Jared, how much of a lift did you get from the crowd today? Oh, yeah. It was, everyone kept saying last week was our last home game. I was like, y'all know we go to L.A. like next week, right? Um, you know, this, every time we come here, it's a home game. And so uh, we didn't use the silent count. You know, they did. You know, we... You know, we didn't practice the silent count all week. You know, we, we just, you know, every time we head down here, our fans are just awesome. John talked about what kind of an athlete you are. Uh, on that run, did you turn it into another year or, or turn it up to another year? Like uh, I, I mean, I turned it up like fourth gear. I still got some more in me, but uh, there's still some more gears in there. Two more, guys. So this, is the most, this is the most points you guys have been able to score since the last time you played the Chargers. What, what do you think was the key to getting back to that uh, score? I promise you, when we look at the film, uh, the details, um, as much as I say that every time, um, that's what makes the New England teams and all that so special, right? It's the details of the assignments. I guarantee the details of the assignments were better than they were in weeks past. Last one. We, like we talked earlier this week, Derek, about like just yeah. being the home game. Given how ugly things got at the end last week in Oakland, yeah. how good did it feel here to, to feel what you did from this crowd? Well, it, honestly, it's something actually we talked about. I was like, guys, this. You know, uh, we know how our fans get, you know, like in Oakland, right? You know, one week, you know, they love you. The next week, if we lose, it, it, they're still family, but they're, they're mad at you, you know. Um, but you're always family. Uh, and I, we talked about this week being, hey, it's going to be another home game. Let's, let's really give them something to cheer about, you know. Let's really give them something to get excited about. Um, you know, because especially the way the last game ended. Like, we had it in the bag and whatever. You know, things happened and, you know, we lost the game. But um, a lot of those fans, this was – full of, you know, black shirts and black jerseys, you know. And uh, we wanted to make sure we gave them a good send-off, you know, because it, I mean, let's keep it real. We knew a lot of those people were going to be at this game. And so we wanted to make sure that we came out this week, um, you know, and really took care of business for them, you know, because I got nothing but love. I still went over to the black hole, even though people are throwing stuff in our tunnel and booing everybody, you know, uh, yelling at me and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's always love. I love Raider Nation. There's nothing like it. Thank you, everyone. Thank you all.